Hello, my loves. Welcome back to Body Life Podcast. It's your girl, Jessica Alexandria of Body Life. Of course, duh. We're here today going to be talking about how to become a millionaire in 2021 and 2022. Yes. Okay. First and foremost, before I dive into the nitty gritty of this afternoon's conversation or today's conversation or tonight's conversation, whenever it is that you are listening and tuning in, it's actually 1131 AM Eastern Standard Time here that it is that I'm recording, but you could be listening to this whenever. Right? Okay. So I do want to give a disclaimer. I am outside. For some of you guys, you will see that I am in a beautiful environment. I mean, you can kind of see because I'm going to be uploading this on YouTube. Hi, YouTube. But um, for the most part, you can see the, the trees. You can see the sun. You can hear the birds. You might see a butterfly or two kind of fly by. I saw that earlier today. And there are some fruit trees. So every once in a while, you will hear, see, and experience a thud. Yep, that's because something is dropping. A big fruit is dropping from the tree onto the ground. Hashtag abundance vibes. Okay, so just give you that disclaimer. Also, it is around lunchtime, so there might be some people who are mowing their lawns. I think someone is mowing their lawn right now. But either way, it's a vibe. And that's not going to stop me from sharing this information with you guys again, which is how to be a millionaire, how to become a millionaire in 2021 and 2022. Now, that is a big promise. I'm not going to lie to you. That is a big promise that, and a big topic, a heavy topic to discuss. Um, so, of course, it's going to come with its own little disclaimer. What exactly does that mean and how, how, how? especially when everybody has their own unique charts, their own unique characteristics, their own different potentials and opportunities, and their own goals. So just like when I am pulling a natal chart or an, or an astrology chart for a client, everyone is so different. Everyone is so unique. No one has the same chart. Even twins charts are different, right? And timing is everything and potential and circumstances are everything and how the planets are transiting your chart does make a difference when i'm talking about how to become a millionaire in 2021 and 2022 this is the trends this is what i can see by looking at the chart exactly where the planets are giving most of their energy towards that we will see tremendous upswings and tremendous downswings that you can financially gain off of if you choose to. This means that you have the opportunity to capitalize on this if you would like, however you do not have to, and you can pick and choose the bits and the pieces that you wanna capitalize or use to capitalize and gain financial value that matches your goals. Having said that, this is about your goals. So you don't necessarily need or want to become or have to need or want to become a millionaire in 2021 or 2022, but you can use this to increase your income, increase your earning potential from essentially what it is that I'm seeing within the astrology charts, okay? So I do have to give that disclaimer and put that out there. Of course, I'm Virgo, so I cross my T's and dot my I's. <laughs> I think I said that correctly. Um, and I want to make sure that you guys know that I am going to give you the best as far as I can, right? I will meet you halfway, but you got to grab that baton and carry it the rest yourself. So having said that, there's a few things that are standing out to me as I'm looking at the chart for 2021 and 2022. And also, last thing I'll say, one more disclaimer. I'm talking about 2021 and 2022 because this is the year that we're in right now. We're in 2021 and soon we're going to be moving into 2022. But this energy will carry on and I'm going to have to give you guys an update in 2022, 2023, 2024 and moving forward right but um, for the most part because this is where we're at this is the time that we're in and this is the circumstances that we're working with I would rather talk about this and discuss what we can see currently right now versus just shooting you forward into the future and you having to wait all right my loves so we're back and if you're watching on YouTube we're coming back at you at a different angle different cam camera angle because my phone dipped out which is fine but Let's go ahead and dive right in. So Uranus and Taurus. Uranus moved into the sign of Taurus March 6, 2019, and will stay there until July 7th of 2025. And the reason why I, I start off looking at this is because this shows the major trends. This shows where we're going to see upswings and downswings, okay? Neither is good or bad, but you want to be prepared for it. You want to look out for it. 
right? So with Taurus energy, this typically is connected to agriculture, it's connected to farming, it's connected to the beauty industry, however, and finances and stock, however, for those of you guys that are old friends and a part of, been a part of the Baha'i Vibe Tribe for a minute, you guys know that I don't just look at that one transit. That would be problematic for me to just sit here and talk about this one transit and tell you that this is where you could see the growth from or this is where you could see the downfall from. I have to look at the entirety of the, the chart. So having said that, even though Uranus is sitting in the sign of Taurus showing this upswing in um, income potential and trends that we can see in 2021 and 2022 and, and then outward, all, we have to also look at what Uranus rules, aka Aquarius, but we also have to look at what's moving through the sign of Aquarius, which is Saturn. Why do we want to connect the dots between that, right? Because these planets, even though they are transiting in a sign a separate sign, they are still actively impacting the other sign that which it rules. In this case, Uranus, like I said, rules Aquarius. Aquarius currently is, is getting beat down, so to speak, by the energy of Saturn. Now, Saturn has the worst reputation sometimes, but I see it as a blessing in disguise always and forever and I always like to work with the energy of Saturn and just work with the realms of respect as I do most things. Saturn really likes to challenge things and break things down or break the energy down of a circumstance in order to make sure that it is designed for longevity, long-term investments and commitments. If Saturn wasn't solidifying the grounds of, of whatever it is that we're investing our energy into, we would just be building on sand. It would be crumbling underneath our feet as we would take steps forward. Saturn, or I wanna say that the, the divine created all of these different planets in order to make sure that we are prosperous, that we are thriving, that we are growing, and that we were not only reaching our potential, but exceeding that and going above and beyond that, right? So having said that, we can see, or I can see by looking at the charts that yes, the beauty industry, farming, agriculture, stock market, cryptocurrency are things that are going to be uh, swinging upwards and downwards. But the ways that we would normally be doing this starts to kind of hit some turbulence. Why? because Saturn, again, is doing the absolute most in the sign of Aquarius. What does this mean? This means that these resources that we were using, for example, the internet, social media, um, things like Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, those platforms that were once solid, when Saturn was moving through them, um, it started break, breaking them down, definitely in the sign of Capricorn. So what we saw was all of these beauty influencers talking about what is currently trending and what is making people the most money. Um, using YouTube, all of a sudden, their ability to profit and use these platforms or use these tools in order to make the most out of them and to benefit and become these you know, high-profile uh, high um, influencers or personalities that all of us are watching and tuning in, tuning into in order to get the, the next level and advance in, in seeing like what's trending, what's new out there. Because of these platforms, for example, YouTube and TikTok or Instagram, actually it was Instagram and YouTube, because they're, they weren't, the companies themselves, these, these these uh, platforms, again, YouTube and Instagram, they started trying to modernize off of this to the point where they smothered themselves under the weight of their own expectation, under the weight of them trying to profit off of it. Now the beauty in industry, I don't know if you guys have seen this, or YouTubers in general, are starting to feel like uncomfortable. They're starting to feel censored. They're starting to migrate away from these tools that were once um, you know, sources of streaming for them to make money off of, right? So what does this mean? What does this mean? This means that as Uranus is still sitting here giving a lot of income potential to the beauty industry, to farming, agriculture, stock exchange, uh, cryptocurrency, we want to, to still be flexible and fluid with this because, again, these old platforms, YouTube, ruled by the internet, ruled by the next wave, the next stage, is currently taking the beating by Saturn. Where this is usually coming from is from the powers that be, so the higher the higher ups. It's their old antiquated ways of thinking or their old antiquated ways of making the most of money, which is 
the very thing that is messing them up. So what does this mean for us? I can hear a lot of you guys being like, okay, Jess, so I'm hearing that, okay, the beauty industry, anti-aging, agriculture, farming, cryptocurrency, those are things that are taking off. But these platforms like YouTube or whatever are getting bogged down or getting broken down. So I can't use it in the same way. And this is where I want to just keep it real with you guys 100% always and forever that with, there are times when I can tell you exactly where the growth will be, where the abundance will be, and there are times where it's kind of iffy. And the reason why this is now getting into iffy territory is because with Uranus and technology, these advances that we're coming up with are just so unpredictable. They're whatever is the latest thing, the next big thing. I can say that it usually has to do with remote kind of uh, travel, like remote traveling things. For example, the these new applications or apps that we can access in our phones, on our, on our MacBooks or our laptops, whatever the latest technology is. For example, TikTok started taking off and trending and was really honoring this lower attention span type of things. These, that's just the way that the world is at right now. It's very quick, fast lightning speed with, again, um, uh, Saturn moving through the sign of Saturn and Jupiter moving through the sign of Aquarius. So one thing too that I want to say to you guys is keep an eye out. Again, I said this in one of my recent uploads. Um, keep an eye out for the murmurings of the people. This is using things like Twitter in order to get a pulse on what people are talking about and what's the latest next best thing. Okay, so you want to keep up on what's trending and be the first one to kind of get yourself on that. When it comes to um, making money off of those topics that I've already talked about, and there's a lot that I'm going to um, address, a lot of different avenues and areas of, growth, of financial growth potential that we're going to be talking about in this afternoon's podcast. When it comes to that, I know some of you guys might feel frustrated because you're, saying, you're thinking to yourself, okay, well, if I wanted to get involved in the beauty industry and I can't use YouTube, then what else can I use? You can still use the internet and you should use the internet, but create your own box, create your own structure, create your own foundation. This means that if you don't have a website that is offering your services and there's a lot of remote, um, a remote location like working, like working from different pods, that's something that I talked about like seven months to a year before we entered into coronavirus territory, I was getting visions of people kind of working like these little pings, you know what I mean? Like little, like these little pods that we were all in our own little bubble and we were just kind of working remotely and kind of connecting in that way. I had a really, really clear vision of that and I obviously we saw that manifest and when you guys saw those prophecies and those visions coming to fruition, you started tagging me in things. Um, uh, letting me know down, letting me know in the comments and in my emails and stuff like that, which I really appreciate. And maybe I don't do enough um, for myself in order to talk about, you know, all of the visions and stuff that is that have come true on the regular. I don't think I've missed the beat so far, but I am human. I'm sure there's one day that I'll make a mistake, but so far so good. But again, like it was that I was saying, you guys, you want to make your own pod. You want to make your own platform. You want to make it for yourself. Aquarius energy is very, very independent, and Taurus is about grounding itself. It wants to stabilize itself and root itself, right? So this is where you are offering your services to the world, and you want to make sure that it's global. You don't want to stick into your tight-knit communities or try to network to the communities. You want to expand far greater than that. Some of you guys are, if let's say you do get involved in the beauty industry or stock markets or Con, um, consulting or working with finances and business or real estate and you're hyper focused on trying to help the community that's all well great and good but I'm telling you with Jupiter and, and Saturn moving to the sign of Aquarius this you helping your your neighbor on the opposite side of the world is going to not only help yourself but you're making a bigger impact you're making more money and you're expanding your horizons so get your head out of okay let me just stay in my community the world is becoming a, a really small place and our neighbors our our um, community our networks are not just in our you know footsteps away from us it could be a plane flight away or it could be on the opposite side of the world, but that is your clientele. That's who needs you the most. Franklin, come. Come.
Franklin, come. Next thing I want to talk to you guys about, my beautiful lovelies, is cryptocurrency. Now, I don't know if you guys have heard about this, and I did mention this before, but Doge, at the time of me recording one of my last, one of my, like, second to third or fourth last um, podcast or things, I think, on the internet, on YouTube, I don't remember exactly where it was, um, but I was talking about Doge and how it's just it's just a perfect example. Now, I don't have a personal um, tie to this. It's just a literally, it's such a perfect example of exactly what it is that I've been talking about and exactly what that I was mentioning and what we will continue to see. So Doge was originally a meme. It was a joke. Now that has Jupiter and uh, Saturn in Uranus written all over it, you guys. It was something that the internet took as a joke. It was the murmurings of Twitter. It was what was trending, you know, what people were laughing at. And then they turned it into something that was profitable and then turn it into a stock and then a cryptocurrency that people were then investing in. As I'm looking at the chart, literally, that is the epitome of exactly what I've been talking about. So Doge, um, it, again, it was once a meme, and then people started, um, they turned it into a, a, a cryptocurrency type of situation, and which I still do not fully understand. I'm doing my best in order to keep up with all of these advancements in technology and where things are going and what's trending, and it's hard enough as it is. You guys know that I'm in the realms of astrology and esoteric symbolism and spirituality and those types of things, new age, that type of stuff. So I'm not in the front and foremost of, or the front and center of social media or stocks or anything like that, I stay in my lane. I can just tell you what is that I'm seeing within the astrology chart. And when I look at what's trending, I see, oh, well, that makes sense. And yes, I did talk about that. So with, with um, Doge, it started taking off big time um, with people investing in it. And they're currently, I think that it was, people put like, it was at like one cent value. They put in however much that they did for that. It started trending and they're using the internet. They're using social media in order to give it more value. And, and people are really making, you know, shooting up from, you know, $150 to 15,000 to 20,000, 30,000 and upward. These are things that we can see. And this is some more of the energy that I want to talk to you guys about is cryptocurrency, stocks, finances, personal finances, banking, and helping to handle other people's resources. So this is again a perfect example. So you want to use Twitter, you want to see what's trending, and then you want to invest in it or find your own niche in that, find your own box, find your own placement in that and profit off of it. So what I was saying, I don't know if I mentioned this already because I had to kind of like film this a few different times. There's a few different distractions and one, at one point when I was filming it wasn't recording, but um, I don't know if I said this, but yeah, YouTube again. So YouTube was a resource and people can still get on there. It's never too late, but make sure that you're not putting all of your eggs in that one basket, but that you are creating your own world. That means that you are creating your own website, your own place, and making sure that your, um, that your, uh, what is it? I don't know, I was gonna say stabilized and consistent, but that you're consist consistently giving information and resources to the people in order to provide information and, you know, con uh, consulting them or um, ad advisement in those areas. So again, this is beauty, finances, stock, cryptocurrency, agriculture, farming, anti-aging, solar, I don't know if I said this, but solar, solar energy, um, things of earth efficiency, those types of things with Uranus sitting in the sign of Taurus. Those are areas of life that we're going to definitely see taking off. Next thing I want to talk to you guys about, again, I'm revisiting this, the bigger picture of the astrology chart, is the transit of Neptune moving through the sign of Pisces. Now, this is something that I did talk about. This started years ago, you guys, February 3rd, 2020. 2012 was when Neptune moved into the sign of Pisces, but this is when we started seeing the the um, the welcome letter. I'm going to call it that. This welcoming letter, or this welcoming energy into the realms of psychology, heal, healing, spiritual development, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, for those of you guys that are young blood, <laughs> like young bucks, right? So you may be brand new to the world, really, so to speak, or under your 20s. For those of us that are in our 30s, talking about psychology, counseling, wellness, spirituality, new age, 
witchcraft, anything like that was crystals, astro I think I said astrology, but anything in those realms was considered taboo, crazy, and it was something that we did not talk about. It was def I don't want to say that it was foreign, but it was something that people just were not comfortable talking to, talking about, and it had all this stigma attached to it. When Neptune moved into the sign of Pisces, this is when it started opening the door and making it a little bit more socially acceptable. So with that being said, this is when um, psychology, counseling, spiritual development, spiritual information, um, self-growth, self-healing, shadow work, those are topics that became more um, in, of interest and were more socially acceptable. And the way to profit off of this and the way to become a millionaire, and I say that in air quotes for those of you guys who are listening to the podcast, um, in order to make more money off of that is, again, working with the uh, transit of Uranus and Jupiter through the sign of Aquarius. This means that you don't, when you look at the realms of psychology, counseling, spirituality, tarot, witchcraft, Wicca, crystals, new age, and all of that, sometimes your brain gets locked and loaded into this thinking of, okay, this is one-on-one -on -one clientele. This is me sitting with you know, as a counselor and advising this person going through this dark time or me providing resources for healing one-on-one, -on -one, right? That's the ways of the old world. Remember, this is, we're, we're trying to incorporate and make the most out of these charts. And there's a lot of, of growth and, and abundance and blessing that can be found here and that is being held here. So the same thing that I was saying before when it comes to the beauty industry, when it comes to aesthetics, when it comes to um, energy saving, solar power, agriculture, banking, farming, cryptocurrency, when they're using the internet or they're using social media or they're using technology in order to, in order to profit off of it and make the most off of it, the same thing is what you will also see for psychology, healing, spiritual development, Development, um, shadow work, etc., etc. So, what does this mean? This means that you're going to use the internet in order to create classes, platforms, different ways of expanding knowledge and spreading knowledge um, in ways that is quick, easy, downloadable, fast, and accessible to not just your um, community, which is just footsteps away from you, but the globe, the global global consciousness, um, people across the world, people that it's a phone call away or an email away or in a different time zone from you. If you are smart, that's who you will work in order to, um, you know, I don't want to say brand yourself, but reach out towards. Now, some of you guys will have this conflicting energy here of, is this bad for me to profit off of this? Is this bad for me to monetize off of this? And the answer is no. At the end of the day, money is energy. And if you are doing your work, if you're doing your resources, and if you're doing your due diligence, um, you sharing your gifts, your light, your knowledge, your healing, your passion, your interests are things that the divine is always supporting and wants to see for you. All right, you guys, having said that, Jupiter is currently moving through the sign of Aquarius and then in the sign of Pisces. This is going to be happening December 29th of 2021. And everything that Jupiter touches, it will expand. It will take it to the next level. Um, so again, we're going to start to see way more hyper focus on spirituality, psychology, shadow self, um, and different religions, different belief systems that are just, uh, that's that expand past our current beliefs. And everybody is different, but again, this world is becoming such a smaller place in a, in a great, in a, in a good way, definitely in a good way. And this means that different philosophies, different, be different belief systems, different spiritualities, different ways of looking at the world and experiencing God and experiencing the divine and, and being more in touch and in tune with our with our current, with our reality, is branching out. And this is another thing that I'm telling you that I know this sounds wild, and I'm. this is one of those things that we put a pin in it because it'll be really interesting to see how and where this goes and where you take it. Ultimately, it's going to be where you take it and what, Franklin, don't you dare. And what draws your attention, kind of like how Franklin just was about to chase after a, uh, a lizard. So um, this is about the more that you tap into yourself, and we're going to see this big time, more and more people are going to stop, 
are going to start disconnecting away from these filtered ways of looking at life and filtered ways at looking at our experiences and looking at ourselves and trying to present ourselves to this world in a way that is prim, polished, and, and, and not authentic. And we are going to start tapping into more deeper rooted meanings and symbolic meanings and experiencing love and light and truth in ways that is, it goes deeper than the superficial. It goes so much deeper than, okay, the nine to five. In fact, we're gonna start seeing an expansion in creative outlets and spiritual outlets and different educational platforms and different resources, again, through the internet, through our communities that we create for ourselves. When I say community, you guys, I do not mean at, at all. I do not mean at all who is footsteps away from you at this current state of being. Our neighbor, at least from the spiritual realms, how, how spirit sees us and how we're going to start seeing the rest of the world is our neighbor is those who are also on the opposite side of the earth. I don't know if you guys remember this, but years ago before coronavirus happened, I think this was in 2016 and 2017, I was talking about this on my YouTube channel. I said, listen, I'm seeing these little blips, these little fireworks going off. And with that, Spirit's message was, what impacts them over there? You think that it doesn't impact you here, but it does. Why? Because this world is about to get really, really small, more compact. And we're going to start seeing how our world is our home. And we are all connected and we all, you know, um, impact each other and influence each other in ways that is good and bad. So if we see our neighbor over here mess, like struggling, then we have to help them out or selfishly also look to see that if that's their problem, it's about to be our problem. If this is our problem, it's going to be their problem. And this is where we're all starting to globally start to connect connect and, and, and lock arms together and work together. So when it comes to, to bring it back full circle, when it comes to making millionaires out of you guys and making you prosperous and stepping further into your purpose, this is when we are, um, again, going into the world, the realms of finances or uh, financial consulting, um, you know, people with their own income, with their own investments, real estate, there's going to be a tremendous odd, really odd upswing and downswing when it comes to real estate and how people make money. In fact, like we're seeing this currently right now um, in 2021, the the market right now is such a seller's market. Like it's not only in the U.S., this is all over the world. People are selling their properties, but they literally have no place to go. Um, they literally have no houses to buy because people are selling, 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 but the buyer's market is kind of shot. And this is exactly what it is that we're seeing, this imbalance with Uranus moving to the sign of Taurus. Taurus rules real estate. So the ability to sell is there, but the ability to buy is really, really tough. Um, and the way that the, the, the finances are and the way that the spending is, if you do not have a surge of income that is supporting your ability to buy property or buy a house or buy real estate, the odds are not in your favor. So with that, we're seeing corporations and, and businesses that are locking into these real estate properties, not homes and not families that are buying the, buying the homes and buying the property and buying these these. Um, uh, real estate that's a value but corporations and businesses and again this is all written within the astrology chart this is all something that we can see clearly here and that I want to give you guys a warning on I want you guys to let you know if you can sell real estate or if you can buy real estate I would do it and again the market is going to be a little weird it's going to have moments where it's really 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 high and really really low but if you can wait it out um, then you're gonna you're gonna see you're gonna gain the most most profit from it. Beauty, um, self-care, self-healing, anti-aging, solar power, environmental, environmental, environmentalism, so using um, energy efficiency type of resources, um, psychology, shadow work, healing, spiritual development, using the internet in order to modernize and to make your own pod in order to make your own place is and then market yourself out to not just your community but to the rest of the world through books through resources through information sharing and by using the apps in order to advertise for yourself is where you're going to knock it out of the ballpark okay so um, the other thing too is essential oils but things that are more earth friendly and earth conscious are things that again 
Um, not only are they beneficial for the bank account, but they're beneficial for the globe. And as I'm looking at the astrology chart with Uranus sitting in the sign of Taurus, Taurus working with global earth energy, of course, by a long shot, um, we want to prioritize how we are working with earth mother, how we're giving to her, how we're providing for her. Um, and we're going to see more, more, uh, upgrades and advancements in that, which I personally am very excited to see. Okay, you guys, I hope this podcast was helpful to you. If you guys have any questions, because I know that I kind of like sped through this, this is a topic that I'm always very excited about as an earth energy myself, um, sun, moon, and Mars in the sign of Virgo. I love to talk about security. I love to talk about savings. I love to see what's currently trending when it comes to finances and how to, you know, find your own safe space in this in this world and how to be pro how to be more prosperous and thriving within that and how to live a better life um, those are just things that are written within my within my chart of course you guys so I was very excited to talk about this hopefully I didn't speed through it too fast but if I did or if you have any questions definitely let me know by sending me an email over at info at Bahati life I'm here for you of course or if you are tuning in on the YouTube platform you can leave me a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that is that you guys have. Definitely put your rising sign in there. Yes, your sun sign, but your rising. Your rising when it comes to this, these issues, when it comes to these topics of how to become a millionaire, helps me to see the placement of your chart, how your chart is aligned, how it's set up, so that I can see, you know, from a general vision, from a general general perspective, where your resources, what house it would be falling in, so that we can tailor it even more into finding deeper and more specific exactly where it is that you can make the most from this money from, you know, from the current uh, transits and what's uh, trending, what's transiting, and how these planets are moving at this moment in time. Okay? Of course, I'm going to keep you guys updated as we move further along into the future. This is Bahati Vibe Tribe, so we're in this together. We're a family. Make sure that you do check check me out at BahatiLife.com. Check out the blogs. Check out the information, the resources there for setting intention, for maximizing your intentions and, and your magic. All of that is there for you. I use it on the daily and hashtag no regrets. <laughs> <laughs> no regrets there. We're living our best life. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in my next, my next podcast, my next video. Bye.